So today we are going to discuss why people, products, and ideas move. Now people move for any number of reasons. They may want to move for a better job, a better life, more money, to be close to family. I mean, there's a number of reasons why people might want to move. But also, sometimes people are forced to move. They have to move. Either discrimination, religious persecution, war. And when people move, they bring their products, such as food, technology, tools, clothing. They take, they, they take that with them when they move. They take their products. And they also take their ideas with them. So their, you know, religion or their agricultural farming techniques or how to build a house, right? So when people move, they take products and ideas with them as well. And that's how different cultures spread is when one person moves, they take their old way of life with them, the products and the ideas. So there's this idea that the reasons that people move are called push and pull factors. Now we'll start with push. Push, if you think about it, right? If, I, if you come up to me and you push me, you're trying to get me out of the way. And so push factors is something that that kind of pushes people out of the out of the country that they live in or the region that they live in so some push factors could be few services a lack of job opportunities unhappy life natural disasters poor transportation systems a shortage of food hunger, lack of rights, discrimination, right? Those are things that are going to push you out of the place you live. Now, pull factors, as you see on the slide, is like a magnet. It attracts you to a place. So many services, better job opportunities, more entertainment facilities, better transportation links, improved living living conditions, hope for a better way of life, family links, near family, you know, warmer climate, religious freedom, the ability to vote, freedom for women, Things like that, it pulls you in, it attracts you, it brings you into a country or a region. So here's some, here are some more examples of push-pull factors. So these are all, you know, poverty, lack of safety, drought, crop fail, failure. That pushes you away from where you live. And then some other pull factors, a safer at atmosphere, greater wealth, fertile land, so good soil for farming, political security, friends and family. So let's talk about some of the reasons why people move. So those are the push-pull factors. And so reasons why people move, well, there's political factors, and that's changes in government leadership, changes in citizens' rights, right? things they have to do with politics. And the, and the book, or the pages in the book that you read yesterday was talking about how a communist dictator named Fidel Castro took over Cuba's government and more than 200,000 Cubans left for the United States because of this change in government and this restriction of 
rights of the people. And when they left, they took their products and their ideas with them as they were part of their culture. So that's political. It changes in government leadership, changes in citizens' rights. Also, people may move because of environmental factors, climate, natural disasters. Okay, um, an example of this would be many people who retire from Ohio move to the South, Florida, Alabama, Georgia, Texas, Mississippi, places like, like that because they want the warmer climate. They want the nicer temperatures. But also people move when, for example, Hurricane Katrina in 2005 that destroyed New, or New Orleans and residents had to evacuate from the city and go either live somewhere temporary or live somewhat permanently, a new home, because of a natural disaster. So, you know, tornadoes, hurricanes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes cause people to move because of the danger that they cause. Social factors also cause people to move. Social factors can include discrimination. Discrimination is the unfair treatment of people based on race, age, or gender. People move away from discrimination. You know, in the South, during the 60s in the United States, many African Americans moved from the South to the North to escape the segregation and discrimination that they faced. So discrimination, people move because they face discrimination. They also move because they face intolerance. And intolerance is the unwillingness to accept different people's views, beliefs, or behaviors. All right, so people who sometimes people face um, persecution based on their culture, their background. And then we have religious freedom. So some people move because they do not have the freedom to practice the religion of their choosing. Okay, so in the 17th and 18th centuries, many Europeans came to the United States seeking religious freedom because they were only allowed to practice a certain religion in Europe at the time, either the Catholic faith. So they had to escape and get away from that. And the last reason people move is economic. So you have availability of resources such as fertile land, forest, waterways. All right, people still move because of a lack of available resources like housing, transportation, services. People move because of the lack. They can move from city to city, from state to state, from region to region, from country to country because of a lack of resources. Changes in trade patterns. And then also we have employment opportunities. So people might move from where they live to a new place, a new area in search of a job or employment opportunities. Um, there's a couple examples. Um, oftentimes in the past and still today, people move from the country side to the major big cities to find job, to find work. 
Mexican millions of Mexicans move from Mexico to the United States in search of job opportunity. So the reasons why people move, politi political factors, environmental factors, social factors, and economic factors. So migrate means to move from one country or region to another. So you can migrate from Ohio to Florida or from the, the west region to the northeast region. Or you can migrate from United States to Italy or Japan. So there's two different concepts. Immigration is to enter another country to live there permanently. So think in. So immigration, you're going into a country. Immigration is to leave your native country to live somewhere else. Think exit. They both start with E. Okay, so here are the, as a discussion from yesterday's lesson that you read. I hope it made a little bit more sense if you had troubles yesterday. Now you can move on to your next assignment. Continue to let me know if you have any questions.